had to do this Rivian today, and I've never done one before. And I was looking around to see how the bumper was going to come off to get access underneath this uh, dented area. But I feel like the glue pulling is really going to take most of this out, and it's going to come down to some fine detailing through this one hole. Since the bumper had to come down to get through that hole, I can also tackle this dent. Same thing. A lot of glue pulling and maybe those fine details I can actually capture from this spot here. But first, I had to take off this wheel trim. And when you do that, it's a little tricky at the bottom. Take a look at the tab here, and that'll help you just kind of pin it back a little bit, and then it'll pop out no problem. Next is just really start peeling it back, just like a regular bumper. All of those slots are just going to pop off, and the bumper will start to retract. And once it slides off, I just put it on top of this little table because someone told me if you disconnect it, you're going to have to uh, recalibrate all of the cameras, etc. There it is. There's that hole I have to come in from. It actually is quite large. You, know, you can get a half inch rod in there for sure. I'm using a tab that is uh, about seven years old. It's amazing how long steel tabs last. This is paying off big time. So glue pulling. All right, before I put my tools away and put the bumper back on, I wanted to show you the Rivian damage that was at the back here. Came out really nice. Yeah, there's the original wiggles right there. I see a little low right there, but that's really looking at it. Came out beautiful, really hard to find. Customer super happy and uh, got this one out no problem. 
everything was done from that hole right there. I got to kind of bend that back, but you could see where these holes here, they get beat up a little bit getting inside there, but uh, definitely worth it considering the alternative.